Students at the University of Missouri are making a mark on a billion dollar industry in the United States, college football. In a sport where coaches have multi-million dollar salaries and universities make millions from TV rights, merchandising, and ticket sales, the players get paid nothing. This week though, the University of Missouri's football team proved that they aren't powerless. After several weeks of protests by fellow students, the football team issued an ultimatum. They wouldn't practice or play until University President Tim Wolf stepped down. 48 hours later, he did. This is what the team's captain had to say. It is not about us. We just wanted to use our platform to take a stand a fellow concerns, as fellow concerned students on an issue. So what are the issues? There's been growing tension between students and the administration at the university for months. Some were upset that the university hadn't taken a stand during events in Ferguson, only two hours away, after Mike Brown was killed by a police officer. Students were also disgruntled over decisions to cut health insurance subsidies and a long-standing relationship with Planned Parenthood. And then a series of racist incidents on campus turned into several weeks of protest. These included the student body president being called racial slurs on campus and someone smearing feces in the shape of a swastika on a dorm bathroom wall. Protesters say the administration hasn't done enough to make minority students feel safe. One student, Jonathan Butler, announced he was going on a hunger strike until the president resigned. But it was the actions of the football team that tipped the scales. Over the weekend, several black players announced that they wouldn't practice, lift weights, or play a game until the protesters' demands were met. And that was a huge risk. You see, football is big business at Mizzou. In 2014, the football team alone brought in over $35 million for the university. The protesting players could have been disciplined by the coaching staff or lost their scholarships, which for some are their only chance at a college education. But the next day, coach Gary Pinkle tweeted this photo of his entire team saying, we are behind our players. If the team refused to play the upcoming game against Brigham Young University, the school would have been fined a million dollars. Now, the game is back on. Jonathan Butler has suspended his hunger strike, and the administration is promising changes. And while many students say there's a long way to go to end incidents of racism on campus, around the country, people are noticing the power that unpaid athletes have by refusing to play. In the last couple of years, there have been athlete protests against racism at several universities, including at the University of Oklahoma and Georgetown. As one Missouri football player put it, Let this be a testament to all other athletes across the country that you do have a power.